Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for dnnhere.com. In this video, I'll be talking about how you can integrate your .NET Look site with Facebook Connect. And to do that, we're going to be using a module by Data Springs called Dynamic Login. Okay, so I'm not going through the basics of the Dynamic Login module in this video because I have done that already. If you refer back to video 174 and video 175, you're going to see the installation process, the initial configuration of Dynamic Login. So this video will start with Dynamic Login already installed and already configured. Now, we will use Dynamic Login to set up the integration with Facebook Connect. And so, just so you know that this site is using Facebook, sorry, it's using Dynamic Login. If you click, if we click Login, you see, this is the, the Dynamic Login module. And as you can see, there's a message that the product is not uh, current, currently licensed. That's fine. This is just a demo in any case. And just for inf your information, this site is a .NET Nuke 561, which is the most recent version at this point in time. So, the first thing that we're going to do to be able to integrate our .NET Nuke site with Facebook Connect is we have to log into the backend. And I'm going to log in as super user. So I'm going to click login. Yes, remember. Now I have already created a page that is our new login page. So I'm going to go to my login page, which has the dynamic login module installed. Here's the dynamic login module. As you can see, this is the control panel for the dynamic login. And I'm going to the settings of the module. Now, if I go to the module configuration and scroll all the way down. I'm going to find a Facebook Connect integration section. So if I if I expand the section, I will see Facebook general settings. Now, there are a couple of different options uh, here to configure. Uh, I'm going to explain the basics of it. I'm going let's go through the very basic what what is the minimum that we have to do to make the integration happen. And then after that, we're going to explore some other options, some other settings, but let's go just for the very basic settings here. So the first thing that uh, the Facebook Connect, Facebook general settings is asking is for the Facebook application information. We have app ID, application key, application secret. So we need to fill this out with the information provided by Facebook when you register your new application. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go to Facebook and register our website, register our application there in Facebook so we can grab, we can get those three pieces of information. Now, this is not a real site. This is just a demo site. This is the domain, as you can see. So we will try, and actually I'm doing that for the very first time. So let's see how this, how this will work. I have never tried to do this integration before. Now, I'm going to try to register on Facebook this website, and which, which has a, which is a subdomain of a main website here. So to be able to get those information from Facebook, we have to go to this URL, developersfacebook.com. And from here, we're gonna, I'm just gonna follow a couple of instructions that I, that I see here. Let's click add Facebook to my site. Then we will be using the authentication. Again, you feel free to go through all those, uh, those things here, but I'm gonna try to go straight to the page. And from here, I can see that it says requires that your require that uh, you register your website. So I'm going to try to use this option here. Register your website. My website name is I'm going just going to put just a test and the website URL. I'm going to add 
the entire URL here. And this, the locale will be English. So hopefully this will create an application correctly here in Facebook. Okay. Now the URL, the URL should not have the HTTP. So that's fine. Let's remove that and just a test. Let's try this again. Create app. Okay, it's still giving me problems. Let's let's follow exactly what it's saying here. It's not about the HTTP. It's about the slash attend. So let me put a slash attend and see if we can get through this. Create app. Okay. So we were able to move ahead here. We try to type in this string and I can barely understand that but I'm gonna try let's see submit okay so we have some information here app ID and app secret now if I go back here there is an app ID there is an app secret but there is also something called app key so let's start with the ID that we have and then let's put the secret as well. And now let's try to find this Facebook app key. Okay, so from here, I'm going to try to click this developer dashboard. And it does show my application just a test that I call just a test. And right down here, I can see some other information in the what is the missing one? app key. Okay, so we have an API key, which I'm assuming this is the one. So I'm going to copy this one as well to this field. Okay, so with those three configurations with those three settings done, I'm going to the fourth one, which asks about user creation type, I'm going to select uh, the option that says Facebook use user ID, I can have the username based on the Facebook user ID or based on the Facebook email address, I can choose either either one. So just for the sake of testing here, let's select email address. And under username prefix, what I can do here, it, just to identify in the back end of the website that this is a user coming from from Facebook, I can put something like FB underscore. So the username will have this prefix. Now, as far as I understand the module, this should be enough to make uh, my site be able to integrate with Facebook. Now let's give it a try. So let's save this, save those settings. And let's experiment. Now it's saved. I'm going to open Internet Explorer with the same site loaded. So we can use another instance. I was using Firefox. Now I'm using Internet Explorer. I'm not logged in. I'm going to refresh this, this site, and I'm going to click login. And there's no Facebook option here. So let me have a look at the back end again. Okay, so we still don't have the Facebook icon here, but now I know what is happening. And this should have been obvious to me. The way dynamic login module works is that this is a template. So the template doesn't have the, there's no uh, Facebook token there yet. So let's go to the back end. Let's go and scroll all the way up and go to manage template. So under the template that we can change the look and feel of the login uh, page, as you can see here, all the different tokens are in place, but the DNN Facebook is not there yet. So let's, let's just copy here from the available tokens, from the available fields. Let's add one extra row in this table. One, insert one row below. Let's add the token and let's save the template. Save template. Now let's have a look again. Let's refresh this page. 
Perfect. Now we see the Facebook icon here. Now, this is the end of video one about how to integrate your .NET Nook site with Facebook Connect.